Hello everyone, today we are going to learn another wonderful feature related to Adobe InDesign and that is the text to image in Adobe InDesign. Okay, so whenever you create a magazine, a document or an ebook, so you have to incorporate multiple images, high quality images or artwork. So it takes a great amount of time, a great amount of effort to put the images or the artwork put in there. So our life has been made easier a lot by Adobe. So we can incorporate the images, the artwork with the help of generative AI, generative AI features so we are going to have a look at it for example this is a text related to a company that has some values so what we have to do we have to incorporate an image that has something to, to do with the human values or family values or something so let's see what we can do just grab a rectangle frame tool over here create a frame tool over here right and here you can see text to image beta or in case you cannot see this feature so you can always go to window and from here you can show the contextual task bar right and here you will click on the text to image so it will give you a bar something related to what you have seen in adobe illustrator or adobe photoshop for the generative ai features if you want to have a look at more options so you can click on here and click on show text to image beta panel so this is the panel here is the prompt where you can put in the description for the image or the art bar. okay now here is an option of art and photo whether you want a real image to be incorporated or you want something related to art okay and here is some examples here they have given us sample prompts for example if you see over here so it has it says portrait of a cat portrait of a cute gray kitten with blue eyes wearing and chunky bright sweater so you can be specific as much as you can okay so just for example what we are going to do over here we are going to select photo you can also select the dimension over here but we have already uh, developed a rectangle frame tool that is of custom dimension so no need to for that okay so i am going to put human values or we can say family values right and click generate so here the magic begins you can see that it has provided us three options you can see that three options over here and it, they are perfectly placed inside the rectangle frame box so you don't do not need to crop or do anything extra and here are the examples here are the variations and if you do not like the variations you can uh, regenerate more and more so we let's discard this for one and also try an example of an art let's remove it okay we have the rectangle frame tool and the description is human values of love and here i am going to select the art option and let's see what it generates for us so you can see that they have developed multiple options for us and the good thing is that quality is very much good you can scale it up and the print quality will be very much great so instead of wasting time for the finding stock images for the relevant relevant stock images and then dropping it down editing it this option is a must to try and it can save a great amount of time for us okay let's take another example just for an example here is the title what is quality improvement so we have to select rectangle frame tool once again just place it over here okay uh, we can also use ellipse frame tool or polygon frame tool as well it will clip the image automatically inside that particular shape okay so for now we are using rectangle frame tool okay and now we are typing quality improvement but we want to generate something out of photo okay, so let's be specific in our description so employee carrying out quality improvement audit okay let's be specific select the photo and hit generate okay so it has given us three options and to be honest i am very much impressed with the results because it can save a great amount of time and yet the results are very much professional i am just amazed with the results of this feature and uh, i hope you must have liked this tutorial and i will also advise you to give it a try and let me know in comments about this feature how you what is your feedback about that so thanks for watching